from the TV show Dukes of Hazard. You're right, dear. Now hurry up or we'll miss the Dukes of Hazard. Don't get the Dukes mm. of Hazard in the UK? Mm. Or maybe it was my American accent. You mean? You say Dukes of Hazard last night. Indiana State Police say they attempted to jump the open Black Bayou drawbridge in a car. When people hear of a car jumping a drawbridge, their mind automatically brings up images of the Dukes of Hazard. The popular show from the 1980s follows the antics of cousins Bo and Luke Duke many of which center around stunts performed in the show's iconic muscle car, the General Lee. As kids, we watched those scenes and had visions of growing up to become stunt drivers. But as we grew older, most of us realized that the stunts portrayed on television did not conform to real-life physics. Unfortunately, two friends from Texas decided to recreate the stunt anyway. The opening and closing of the Black Bayou Bridge is nothing out of the ordinary. Drivers wait while marine traffic floats on through. And in the early hours of Friday morning, things went from normal to bizarre in a matter of moments. On May 24, 2019, Louisiana State Police say that Alejandro Cesares, 23, of McAllen, Texas, was operating his 2016 Chevrolet Cruze when his vehicle was stopped by the safety arms of the Black Bayou Drawbridge on Highway 384 outside of Lake Charles. Witnesses say a passenger in the vehicle, Roberto Moreno, 32, of Edinburgh, Texas, got out of the vehicle and pushed the safety gate arm aside. Guardrail was down for a, per for a reason. You know, and allowing Cesares to drive under the arm and onto the approach of the drawbridge. Completed in 1979, the Black Bayou Bridge is what's known as a pontoon bridge. Unlike a traditional drawbridge that has two sections that raise to allow ships to pass, a pontoon bridge has a section in the middle that swings to the side to allow river traffic to pass by. The Black Bayou Bridge has a middle span of 165 feet that swings to the side and a 10-foot section on either side of the bridge that raised to allow the middle section to swing freely. In the up position, the 10-foot section visually resembles a ramp, which likely inspired Cesares and Moreno to attempt to jump the 185-foot open span across the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway. Unlike the fictional protagonists from the Dukes of Hazard who were driving the General Lee, a 1969 Dodge Charger powered by a 440-inch Magnum V8 engine cranking out 375 horsepower, Cesares was driving a 2016 Chevrolet Cruze with a 1.4-liter engine and only 153 horsepower. Not that either car had a chance of making the 185-foot jump, but the Chevrolet Cruze was woefully underprepared. Witnesses to the incident reported that Cesaris proceeded towards the ramp at the end of the bridge, stopped briefly, placed the vehicle in reverse to properly line up his ascent, and then accelerated forward in an attempt to jump the waterway and land on the other side of the bridge. Guardrail was down for a, per for a reason. The vehicle briefly became airborne before landing in the water and sinking to the bottom. Sadly, Cesares and Moreno would not survive the attempt. Police records indicate that Cesares became trapped inside of the vehicle and subsequently drowned. Moreno was able to exit the vehicle, but drowned while attempting to make it to shore. Incredibly, Cesares and Moreno are not the first people to attempt to jump the Black Bayou Bridge. According to the Jefferson Davis Parish Sheriff's Office, in 2016, a man attempted to jump the open bridge while being pursued by police. Sheriff's Office records state that on December 6, 2016, Morgan Lyons of Jennings, Louisiana, was being pursued by agents from a joint drug task force when he approached the Black Bayou Bridge. Although the bridge was opened at the time, Lyons continued to flee and attempted to jump the open span. The attempt obviously failed, but fortunately for Lyons, he was able to survive the ordeal. Unfortunately for Lyons, he was found to be in possession of four and a half kilograms of cocaine and two illegal firearms. After being treated for minor injuries, Lyons was arrested and held on a $700,000 bond. 
As amazing as these two stories sound, people attempting to jump a drawbridge is a lot more common than you might think. As the Flagler Bridge is going up, we see boom! An SUV plow through the bridge arms and jump the bridge as it's rising. According to police, the driver may not have been looking at the road. The car smashed through a traffic arm, then went aerial as it jumped the gap on the Main Street Bridge in Daytona Beach. All four tires left the ground before the vehicle landed on the other side. It Investigators say the 26-year-old man made it across but damaged a safety gate and his tires in the process. He's now facing charges of malicious destruction of property over $1,000. Police say the woman was walking her bicycle across the bridge between Palm Beach and West Palm Beach when she got caught on the bridge as it opened. Police say that woman fell through an opening where the bridge hinges. She fell about 50 to 60 feet to her death. Now police are interviewing witnesses and the bridge tender to figure out how this happened. The next time you are in your car and find yourself tempted to jump a drawbridge, just remember this one thing. Guardrail was down for a, per for a reason, you know.